Hey there everyone, this is Lucky70X, welcome back to Let's Play Kirby Mass Attack in the last episode. Basically we did stage 3 and 4 of Green Grounds, it's now time to do stage 5 and stage 6 in this video. So let's get started right away with stage 5. Um, this is where the level is starting to get a bit longer and a bit more tricky, but not too much. Um, some interesting gimmicks in this one, and of course all of them do have their gimmicks as usual. This one involves these blocks and um, basically pushing contests, so these they normally don't break like that. Normally. Um, we're actually gonna have to push them, which is gonna be pretty interesting. Um, the main gimmick of that, this level really is just that. But um, there are five medals, so a bit of a longer level. There's these little things that you can uh, sort of, uh, flat, I guess, uh, push down with your Kirby's if you have enough Kirby's on them, something like that. But anyway, this guy's gonna start pushing the block. So pushing contest, just ram your Kirby's against the block. He'll knock him backwards. That guy has a gigantic nose. He probably got teased all the time as a kid because you know clearly he was not. He's a kid. And not an animal luck, you make perfect sense. I like all the roots, by the way, up here. Oh. He's dead. Oops. Sort of squished him. Poor guy. He was just trying to push a block, just, he was just having some fun! And we murdered him! Maybe you can push this down, because uh, it'll allow us to get past this thing over here. Just gonna murder this guy. Good, don't, don't crush my garbage. Okay, that's enough to slowly bring them down. There we go. We'll do this. There we go. There was really no reason to push it all the way down. I just kind of felt like it, so uh, that's precisely what we did. Anyway, go in this thing. You want to bring it all the way down here and fire. Actually, you can't fire anywhere else. You have to fire it all the way down there. It's your only choice. You'll get a medal, but in return, you also have to fight this guy, who is a bit tougher to push, but uh, really just keep flicking rapidly and you'll be fine. So just flick, 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 flick. And unfortunately, this guy is going to be his demise, too. As you can see, um, he is fighting back a little bit better than the other guy was. So maybe he's a bit more threatening, but... uh. In the end, he will suffer the same fate of being totally and completely squished! He's dead. We killed him again. Oh well, there's no backtracking by the way, because you saw there was blocks that fell, so you can't go back. Luckily, there's nothing over here worthwhile. Um, we got the metal we need to. Nothing else of uh, merit, so... We're just gonna continue onward into this thing. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the gimmick of this level, is just pushing those things. You'll see a lot of that on occasion. Just, you know, you're just a general level. It's a fun level. I like this one. Um, I like all the levels in this game. All the levels are really fun to play, um, for the most part. I should have been staying in this vine while I was here. Not that there's any reason to, because there's just a guy in this vine. You go away. The end. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to grab this thing while I can. That poison's going to hit me. That's okay. I can just deal with it. And we get one. Oh, there's... Um, by the way, up here is the, the halfway point. But anyway, i got to keep moving, because this thing is timed. Basically, get rid of those giant cherries, and you... Uh, get the ability to grow big, which will let you break metal blocks, which is um, what we need to do. So in order to get a metal, you actually have to rush through this section, quickly kill these guys. I think I'm going to have more than enough time, even though I wasted like a split second there. I hope I have enough time. Go, 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 go. Just need to break this one over here. Just need to break these two. Okay, we're good to go. We are good to go. Um, you need to break those in order to get a metal. You're going to see a lot of those giant uh, the lollipop things off now, but quickly hurry back here before this guy pushes the block too far. Because we need to push him over here to get our second milk. So that's actually the third milk. So you have to kind of skip that one. But uh, there's the warp goal, by the way. Since I uh, sort of had a panic and quickly get that while I explained the giant cherry. Giant lollipop. I think they're called giant. I forget what they're called. I think we're actually going to find out because I'm pretty sure we're going to get an achievement for getting one. Or we'll get an achievement involving those at some point. So uh, we'll see those achievements soon enough. But anyway, that's the second one. The guy had to die for us to get a medal. Kirby, you are just a destructive being. Then again, I guess it's us that's doing it, and it's Kirby's heroic heart, so... Kirby's heroic heart, you're pretty destructive. Yeah. About that. Anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and take care of this guy. And, uh, if you move up here, basically the thing's gonna start falling because it's just like one giant switch. So, one thing you want... Oh, don't, don't do that. Uh, one thing you can do, just to sort of uh, make it so it doesn't fall faster, is just to uh, use your little grabby thing here. Because it won't fall while you're, uh, not on the ground. You don't count on the ground when you're up here. Oh, you Kirby, get... Kirby's, get... Kirby's? Okay, everyone get down here. There we go. Now we're just gonna go up this the normal way. There we go. Some Kirby's got trapped there. Oh, stop it! Stop it, stop it, stop it! Whatever. He's dead anyway. This, this segment's a little tough to navigate sometimes. Just because, like... You deal with that plant guy, and it's just so, so awkward with this thing constantly falling out. Don't get squished! Okay. You need to get... No! 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 No squishy! No squishy! Okay. Get over here! Now go! There we go! No casualties, and that's good, because you don't want any casualties, because you need to ha have ten Kirby's to get down here. 
and uh, get the final rainbow medal. So that's all the medals for this stage. Pretty quick, pretty easy, and we'll be able to move on to the next one. Um, right? Yes? Level's over? Yes? Oh, no, wait, there's actually something more to do. I forgot. So you're all like here, and you're like, hey, it's the goal. We're all good and mapping and fine. This guy's like, yo, I see you want to go on that goal. And then he just runs us over. How rude. I say, good sir, you are rather rude. And then just to rub us on the wound, he basically starts pushing a door. How does that work? Anyway, before his tail gets all spiky, just grab on him. Tap, 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 tap. And we're just going to yank him away. Away with ye, good fine, sir. Just uh, before he pushes the goal in the hole, because I think there's actually a hole over here. I think. Well, we'll never find out. No damage, gold star. I'm 5 for 5 so far. Not too bad. Not too bad. And hey, it's you, Mr. Guy 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 Guy. Um, for those of you, actually, you probably don't recognize this because it wasn't in Squeak Squad, but it's uh, Squeak, it's, it's Del Roach from Squeak Squad. He makes a return appearance. He was apparently now a good guy, because they do that all the time in Kirby, like, oh, you used to be a bad guy, well, come be a good guy then. They just all sort of switch allegiances all the time. But his role in this game is uh, helping you with the medals. So, if you ever uh, do not get a medal, well, he's the one who, I guess he's apparently looking for the medals, um, but if you ever do not get a medal in a level, you can go to him, and he will actually tell you, give you a hint as to where the medal is located. So he helps you sort of find all the medals in the game. Um, he won't give you, the hints usually aren't the, the most clear thing in the world, but um, they help. They definitely do help. So, I guess there's that. Anyways, we got Jumbo Noob. Okay, it's a Jumbo Candy. There we go. That's, that's what it was. So, uh, yeah, for the first time you eat a Jumbo Candy, you can achieve him for that. These first achievements, obviously, are all a bit easy to do, but we'll get better ones later on. Or more difficult ones later on to do. And uh, this guy, I know there's something extras, but this guy apparently wants to say something. What do you want to say? Um, okay, he tells, he tells us how to make an exit. Cool! So you can, like, okay, um, if he doesn't have any hints about medals, we'll just be like, I don't have any medals hints right now, because we got all the medals we currently could get, I guess. Um, I'll, sh I'll be sure to show them off when we have a moment where I don't get a medal, which there will be plenty of those when I have to do stages twice or something. But uh, we got another minigame, Kirby Curtain Call! Cool. Don't really care. Uh, not really that important, I guess. It's just another minigame. Like I said, playing all those in extras. Anyways, without further ado, we've wasted enough time. Let's go ahead and get to stage six, which is a bit longer. I believe this is the rainbow. This is the thing, the rainbow ball at the end. I'll unlock more stages. Um, it, it's a cool level. Basically, the gimmick is these green things. Um, we're introducing these green things, which will stun your Kirby's if you run into them. So if you just kind of like ram them, oh, stop it, stop it. They'll just get stunned like that. So yeah, <laughs> sort of lost my train of thought. Also, these these warm guys. You hit him in the little. Uh, sort of puffy section, you'll, you'll kill them. So, that's how you beat those guys. Um, they'll spit out stuff. As you can imagine, this will be useful for medals later on. Um, there will be medals inside those guys. They're a recurring enemy that you'll run into on occasion. Um, just gonna break these blocks. I don't, there's no reason for me to break all these blocks. I'm just doing it because I can. Anyway, we're just gonna drag our star up here to, uh, well, there's not really any goodies up here, but there's this guy who kind of resembles a wiggler, doesn't he? Like, he kinda, he's like a bubble wiggler. He's a bubble wiggler. There's also stuff in his bubbles. Be careful because those black things are bombs. Bombs will instantly... They, you won't even get to a blue, cur blue Kirby. They'll just instantly kill the Kirby. Bombs can be dangerous. They can really like, wipe out a like, majority of your Kirbys and cause some pretty big panic if you're not careful. So, uh... Try not to hit the bombs if you can. It's kind of important. Anyway, this guy's gonna go here. We're gonna body slam him. Why doesn't he get stunned when he bounces on these things? Anyway, you guys might notice this thing's red. And that's actually special. So, put your Kirbys in the red thing. They'll all uh, jump up in the air, and we'll actually take them to a bonus stage where we'll find our first medal. As you can see, it's in a bubble over there, but it'll scroll away before we can reach it. We'll grab this melon here. Basically, what you want to do is you don't, you don't want to hit any of the bombs, so you especially don't want to hit the, the door. If you hit the door, you'll immediately ex exit the bonus stage, and you will not be able to get the medal. So make sure you at least get the medal first, which is right there. And we got it. So there's only one medal to get. Nothing. It's not too big, big deal if you miss it, I guess. I'm just going to grab this other fruit while I'm here. Uh, isn't there a melon over here? I may as well grab it just for chits and giggles, I guess. Oh, I guess we got everything. Well, no, this melon, 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 no! Never mind. Whatever. I got the the metal, so uh, it's all cool. It's all okay. Anyway, kill this guy quickly because I believe this wiggler guy has a metal as well. He does indeed. So we'll grab that one, and uh, you can grab the bananas as well. You can also kill this guy, I think. So um, I'm actually curious. I don't think I've ever killed this guy before. Let's see what happens. Oh. 
kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh, no, 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 bomb, bomb, bomb's bad, bomb's bad. Okay, just gonna wait for this thing to explode. So either way, you do have plenty of time to deal with it though if you need to, so that's always good. Oops, Kirby Star got hit. Anyway, I'll just use the dragon thing to get over this thing. I don't want it to be a problem, don't touch it. Good Kirby. Gosh darn it, Kirby, I told you not to touch it. Well, he's fine anyway, so it's okay. No harm done. Anyway, there's a skull key up there. Those are, um, there's basically two kinds of keys of the kind we've seen so far. And there's these skull keys. These ones will actually take us to a different area. Pick up the key! There we go! Usually they pick up the key automatically. That one's just like, I don't wanna. I don't wanna pick up the key. Screw you, I don't wanna go to this ultra dimension, blah blah. Basically, you're gonna play a bunch of these things called scullies, which are, uh, the cohorts in Necro Davis's gang, so we're gonna have to sort of have a little mini fight with them. Basically, obviously, you want to get the one in the treasure chest, because you can put your key in the treasure chest, and it'll end the little stage here. Before these guys grab your guy away, don't grab me! You know what? Screw you. They, um, once you kill the red one, it'll go away. There we go. They have the key was sort of, like, walking over it on top of Kirby's. I love how the Kirby's sort of walk on top of each other. It's rather rude. Anyway, we get sucked back into the normal world, which is cool. So, uh, we will do that, of course. Don't want to get hit by that poison stuff. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Flowers! Basically, just bring all the petals to get the stuff inside the middle. Just, you know, more mechanics. Just, you know, there's so many different mechanics in this game. It's really cool. I'm gonna keep going on about how much I love this game. It's a love-hate relationship with this game. Like, there are moments I really love this game. There are moments I'm just like, this game is annoying. Don't hit me. There we go. You know, break this thing. We're gonna get even more fruit. Is the warp? I think the warp thing's right here, right? Yep. There's the warp goal if you need uh, the warp gate if you need it. We're gonna break all of the petals on this thing just to get whatever's inside, cause you know I'm sure you guys want to know what's inside. I want to make like a the, uh, the reference to that the Lonely Islands uh, thing in the box song now. What's inside? So bad. Anyway, be careful with this one. It's spiky. You don't want to get spiked. Um, make sure your Kirby's don't accidentally hit it. Don't jump, Kirby. Gush, gush, gush. Anyway, one Kirby's enough to break the petals. Um, they'll just stand there for as long as it takes, so... I didn't realize that Pell gets all sad! It gets all sad that we killed it! I never noticed that before! Whoa! Mine, he was blown! Anyway, this guy, um, just break everything in sight, because I believe he has a metal. So, uh, grab the metal, get away from the bombs! And... We'll just wait for all the explosions to happen. Good! And we'll move on. So, yep, that's all five. We're actually, uh, good to go for metals in this stage. Not too bad. We'll just let these guys pummel this guy to death. Just so he doesn't get in the way. We're, um, obviously the sign says we need to go up, so we'll hop on our little star thing here, head up here, and while the level's not quite over yet, there's still a couple of uh, things we need to do, so I didn't really, I just kind of slide over to that green thing up there. I uh, get a little healing ring if you need to. These moles, they're telling us where to go! You're so nice, moles! You're such a kind bunch of people! So we're gonna hit the switch here, and look like, at this door right there, we're just gonna head our, what, what's going on? Whoa! Whoa! There, there's, there's no floor. Oh, you moles! You guys are douches! Why would you do such a thing? Yeah, this actually is a uh, mini-boss fight. With everyone's favorite boss, who makes a repair reappearance here. It's that mole thing from Amazing Mirror and Squeak Squad whose name I forget. Hello, uh, Mr. Mole or Mrs. Mole or something like that. But first you want to kill the mole. Whatever moles have the bombs, um, just basically ram your Kirby's at them. Just wait for the ones that throw the bombs. Don't go for the other ones. You can't really get them. Because you do not want them to throw bombs. As I said, bombs are bad. Bombs will hurt you badly. There you go. Now you get out of here, and bam! And eventually we'll go into. Okay, because we're not. Um, it's not in the next stage quite. I think this one will bring us to the next stage. There's three stages to this fight. First one's that. Okay, now we have moles with spiky helmets. So be careful. We don't want to obviously hit that one. Those uh, will damage your Kirby's. Careful. Careful, Kirby. Careful. Okay, that was a bomb. So just you know, caution. Make sure you know what you're flinging your Kirby at before you fling it. And then finally, we'll have the boss itself, which is uh, the giant one. You can tell which one he's usually come out of, though, because it's usually the giant hole. So just fling all your Kirby's on there. Oh, he actually got a, he actually got a bomb off. Usually, you can kill him in one go if you're if you're lucky. So stay away from the bomb. Okay, kill, 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 kill him, kill him. Oh, he has a bomb. He has a bomb. Get, stay away from the bomb. Stay away from the bomb. Stay away from the bomb. Okay, we're good to go. And the whole thing's dead. And that's the end of this stage. So stage cleared. Another gold star. I'm pretty proud of myself right now. I actually feel pretty. <laughs> I'm like six gold stars. No way. Yep. So here's the rainbow thing. Blah. Uh, these two Kirby's to even help. Lazy Kirby's. But yeah, that'll unlock the next couple stages. But there is one more stage to do this. Uh, this second section, I guess. So we'll be doing that next episode along with one of the of the next stage. So uh, I guess that'd be stages what seven and eight now. There's ten stages in a world, like I said. 
Um, actually, I think isn't that all of them? So that's what six, or er, so seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, these are the four main stages. The one in the middle obviously is the boss. We got more of the checklist. What did we get this time? I'm trying to think what we actually got in the checklist here. Like, like what did we actually get? We got oh, oh right, 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 Skull Evader. So uh, our first time in the Skull Cat, the, the the Skull Key, Skull Chest. I was, I was gonna say, I was about to say the Skull K and the Skull Cast, because totally speaking English. So yeah, there's that um, there's that little reward there, and over here at Extras we have Dash Course. Yet another mini game that we'll be doing in Extra Mode. There's actually not that many more uh, mini games left. We've actually unlocked most of them, and that's when the metal that's more the, the extras mode is gonna start slowing down after that. So uh, by the time we get to like World Two, World Three, or definitely World Two, it'll slow down a lot, and we won't get so many extras. It's the same with the achievements too. So uh, there's that, I guess. Anyways, I think that's enough for this episode. This is Lucky70x signing out. I will see you guys next time for more Kirby Mass Attack. Bye bye.